Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another non-combat land vehicle that's great for exploring the world and of course transporting goods from one place to another. So this thing that I'm currently driving is called the Abramin LV100, which is this lovely thing in the lovely bright yellow colouring, putting fantastic use to the armoured panels. So yes, we've got spotlights around the front, we've got cargo containers just behind our control seats, and a little place at the back where you can store a few other friends on there, maybe cargo containers or anything else you want to drag along with this. So pressing F10 and finding this in spawn menu, the Brahmin is 106 small blocks using the Wayside DLC packs. We've got a tiny bit of information about it, such as it's the first entry into the light utility vehicle market, and its small design is perfect for navigating tight areas. So giving this thing a thumbs up, we run towards the very back, have a quick look around the outside, we'll go through its few controls, then we'll drive it around for a bit, and maybe just crash it, in, well, the good old fashioned way. So, at the very front, this is what we get for the Brahmin LV100, and that's a bunch of wasteland spotlights to light up the darkness. We've got two at the front, two at the back, then just below there we can see how our wheel suspension has been set up, with some armoured panels below it, to make sure it's nice and protected from any kind of lumps and bumps. If we were to move around onto the side, we'll see some more of our yellow blocks and yellow armoured panels, but just behind this wheel, all the way over to here, we have a sneaky nuclear reactor to give it a bit of power. Over to this part where I'm sitting, we can see our rover cockpit with even more armoured panels going along it, as well as some nice use of our hazard skin blocks, which is where you're going to put your foot up to get inside. Over to this part, we can see how we got our spotlights at the back there, how they've been raised up using armoured panels, then go across over the cockpit. Just below that, we can see another access point, which is going to be for our cargo containers. We've got four of these on here to carry all the stuff you need to go out on your adventure. Moving along towards the back, there's another wheel suspension being clipped into another armoured panel. Round over towards the very back, a couple more wasteland spotlights, but this time acting as your brake lights. Then moving all the way up, this is your little trailer at the back, so you can store a few bits and bobs inside. But once again, we've got our wheel suspensions, now it's been clipped into the back. But there's a clear view of our four cargo containers. Then moving all the way up and looking down this thing, all the way over to here. So that's our cockpit, that's how it's been set up to go along towards our spotlights. There's the very front where our wheel suspensions are once again clipping in through blocks. Moving all the way down underneath it, past all of this, we might be able to make stuff out, might just be all grass. There's some fantastic use for our armoured panels to make sure we're nice and protected underneath, and of course to give it structural integrity, make sure it doesn't fall apart if you take a rough bump. And there we go with the bottom. So yes, that is that for the outside of the Brahmin LV100, and it's bloody fantastic how it's all been set up. It's very simple, very clean design, and should get a nice lot of use out of this. But now what I can do is grab hold my character, bring up the HUD, tab number one, these are the only controls we get, with number one being for your brakes to turn them on and off. Number two and number three is for your spotlights around this to turn them on and off. And number four is a very curious control, because it gives you wheel control at the back. So let's just do that, you can see the front wheel's moving, turning it on, now the back wheels move. So that's why it's very good for getting out of tight areas, because now we've got a much tighter turning circle with that turned on. Yes, turning it off for the moment, number nine is going to be your flip controls. We're pressing that, that'll just help you if you end up on your roof. And as for that, that is the controls, so now we can drive this thing around, and hopefully it won't end up like the one I tested earlier, which is, well, somewhere in the background there. It might have been cleaned up by the auto cleaner. But yes, we'll now move forwards, and here we go. Moving all the way up, we seem to cap out at about 40 meters per second, which is very safe for a land vehicle. Nothing bad is going to happen here, it's usually when you start to creep over 60, as well things start to go clang. Coming to a sudden stop with the space bar, that's always nice to see, it didn't lift up whatsoever, and that's also a very, very good thing to check. Doing a tight turn. Here we go on this lovely flat surface. We can see that it sort of wants to flip over. If it wants to keep holding this, I think it might flip over eventually. But it seems to be doing a very good job at not doing it. Coming to a stop once again. We're now going to put on the other wheels. And here we go with this. So now we've got a much tighter turn. And we have to be a little bit careful. Because as you can see, our wheels are now off the ground. And this will flip over unlike the other one. As for that, that's pretty much it. That's the outside, that's the controls, that's how it handles. So I suppose what we can do is now remove the wheel speed limit and go crazy. So here we go, now going to remove the speed limit, it's all gone. And it's time to charge along until this thing blows up and then that'll be that for this video. So here we go, 50, now creeping up to 60. Oh god, there's a tree, that's bad, the wheels are going wonky at the back, not too sure what's going on. And there goes the complete front of the vehicle. And that was one hell of a lot of front flips and a sudden stop for me. Where the hell did the rest of it go? I have no idea. But that's all the remains of the ramen. And yes, that is that for this video. 
So there's a lovely little vehicle to use in the world, you could get a lot of use out of this in survival mode. Just remove the reactor for a battery and you'll be good to go. Maybe slap on the solar panel if you want renewable power, or maybe a hydrogen engine if you want to go that route. But yes, there'll be a link to it in the description below, and we'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.